And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion. I have a chance to talk to an official of the USO, a great partner of the American Legion and taking care of veterans is Sarah. And Sarah, great event today. Uh, one, always great to see the USO. We've done work with Brian Whiting over the years and all the folks. You guys do a great job taking care of our overseas military, our military and transport and transport at, air, at airports. Uh, great to see you today for this event. Thank you so much. We're thrilled to be here with the Gallon family as well as the Yankees. Both are huge supporters of the USO of Metropolitan New York, so we couldn't be more thrilled that we had this wonderful day with them. Very good. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the current activities, some of the things that you're reaching out to uh, military families. I know you do a lot of work at the New York City airports. Yeah, we do. We actually are about to open um, the first USO Center at Newark Airport in July, and we're really, really looking forward to that. Uh, it's amazing to think that Newark didn't have one up until this point. And uh, two years ago, we opened JFK, and we have our eyes set on opening more and more centers throughout the region. Absolutely. I know uh, last week was a huge week for the USO in New York with uh, New York City Fleet Week. What, was, uh, what were some of the high points of uh, Fleet Week for you? I think for us, uh, welcoming 4,500 sea service members into the city is always a really special moment for us. But we had pop-up centers by all of the ships in Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Staten Island. We put on a concert. Um, you know, we organized a lot of amazing activities for them throughout the week, and it's really our privilege because of their service. Absolutely, and uh, I know the Yankees have been very supportive of the USO over the years. They have a great veterans package drive. They partner with you every November, and last year we saw one of the packages on NBC Nightly News being delivered to a soldier in Afghanistan. That Those, those kind of uh, moments must be very special for you. Yeah, I think that's one of our favorite moments throughout the year. Thanks to the Yankees, we're able to pack about 5,000 care packages um, to troops that are overseas and to get them there in time for the holidays and it's really is thanks to our partners at the Yankees and the other partners to join us for that initiative. It's why we do the work we do. Uh, moments like that are really important to the staff but to our third, over 30,000 volunteers around the world as well. And, and Sarah, how can someone who wants to help the USO uh, as an individual or a group or a company even, how can they reach out to you? Absolutely. There's plenty of opportunities available. You just visit us at www.usonyc.org to find out more. Sarah, great to see you. Thank you for all the USO does every day to take care of our military members, both at home and overseas. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Great to see you. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at Hope Week in New Rochelle, sponsored by the New York Yankees, benefiting the USO.